Okay, the items that you'll need for this project are an R134A U-Charge service kit with gauge. The gauge is pretty important to make sure that we fill the system appropriately. A 134A DuPont recharge canister and the low side AC refill port. There's an additional port up front here, but we're not using that port. We use the port up here. You'll take the, the tube and you'll attach the brass end that can screw on to the 134A canister and you want to tighten it up the entire way. Then you want to take the uh, locking mechanism here and tighten it down until the needle that is inside of this valve punctures the canister of 134A. Once you have that done, you tighten it down the entire way and that'll keep the gas from escaping. Now that we have that in place, we're going to go ahead and start the car, turn the air conditioning on high, and then we'll go ahead and attach the 134A. We're going to bleed it a little bit before we uh, actually start inserting the gas. Okay, anybody else see uh, the temperature there? 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I think you all know why I am prompted to uh, change my air conditioning situation here. It's not that it's not working, it's just not working well. We're gonna crank it up to high. We're gonna make sure it's on AC. We're gonna make sure it's at its coldest point. So, you're probably like there or something. It's at its coldest point. And now we should be able to refill the system. Okay, I had to reposition the, the camera a little bit here. We're going to have to bleed this a little bit, and you can do that by just popping it off of there a little bit. There we go. Now let's go ahead and let the Freon in. Open the valve about three or four cranks. One thirty-four A coolant will rush from the canister and flood your system. Looking pretty good here, but not full enough. We need to be on the high side of the blue. Rotate the can left to right to ensure good quality flow for the 134A gas. We want to be in the blue full. We want to be in the high blue full. A light helps promote the solution to others. Let's crank it open a little bit more, but let's really keep an eye on that gauge because we don't want to overfill. Does that look about right to you? Just about into the yellow. I think we'll stop there. Okay, now we crank it close. I can use this tube and this canister to refill my wife's car. There we go, we're near the high blue full. We've bled the valve. We've only used about half a can, and this has only taken about five minutes. And after you're done filling, all you have to do is simply tighten the valve down. And disengage it from the port. If you like the production quality of today's video, please smash that like button. Subscribing would really help me out. I've got a large number of Crossfire SLK20 Mercedes vehicle uh, videos growing in my collection. Please stop by my page to see more.